cheers to hoping out this look comes out okay. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a special kind of video and one that I've had rattling around in my brain for a while and I'm going to show you how you can do a full face of makeup. Yes, I said full face of makeup using loose pigments. I am super stoked to show you guys how I came up with this look using loose pigments. So if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you can check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell there for you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. Do you guys see something different going on? Yes, my background is different. I did this over the weekend. Actually, not the weekend. Actually, yeah, it was the weekend. It was Friday I did it. And I am super, super proud of it. I love it. I have bats on the wall. I have lights going on now. Um, I'm still trying to adjust the setting to the right setting because we have like this little squiggly lines going on. I don't know if you can see it, um, but I can. Um, I don't want the lights to flash too fast because I don't want people to get a seizure while watching my video. No bueno. <laughs> and also I cleared off back here we have the nightmare before christmas setup going on except for my um mario things for my gamers out there my rebel rouge labs lipsticks and the one unicorn but i really do like this backdrop i'm like i said i'm still in the process of working with the lighting especially with my ring light and my mirror light so bear with me it's gonna get there <laughs> but I love it. I hope you guys love it too. It may be a permanent thing. I know the lights will. I'm not sure about the bats, but yeah. <laughs> also, I do want to let you guys know that I have started um, making my looks for my Halloween series. I should should be in the keyword there have my first series up for you guys on friday if not it'll be on sunday i have to you know watch what i do with my face because if i do too many looks in one day my face is going to break out and i don't want that no bueno yeah so i am working on that if i don't have it up friday i am definitely going to have it up on sunday i'm very excited as I stated in the intro, I am going to show you guys how I made this full face of makeup using only loose pigments. Now, the reason why I've had this rattling around in my brain is because ever since that I have been getting Pandora's box, I have gotten a lot of loose pigments. In fact, I have one drawer that is nothing but loose pigments, and it's this one right here. It is full of loose pigments and I have nothing against that it's just I don't grab them on a regular basis because I'm always going for palettes so I was going through my makeup this weekend and getting you know decluttering some stuff and I looked at that drawer and I was like hmm I think it's time to do that video I was thinking about so I picked out some loose pigments from various brands um, I tried to pick ones from brands that are still in business so you guys can so you guys can purchase from that brand because I do have some that are from brands that aren't in business anymore so let's go ahead and get on into it all right let's go ahead and get this started I already did my brows I'm gonna wait to do my base because of course with loose pigments you're gonna have fallout and I don't want to have fallout all over my cheeks and my base is done so I just went ahead and did my brows but my face is primed and uh, prepped and primed and ready to go but the first shade I want to use um, is from BFTE Cosmetics and this was from the Pandora's Box uh, March 2019 edition and it is the shade Little Match Girl it's actually a blush but I want to use this as my transition color and I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys real quick 
It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but not too much to the point where it's just going to be complete shimmer. I think that's just going to be a really great transition color to start with. And I've already primed my lids with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base in Fair. I didn't set it because um, I don't want to put powder on top of powder on top of powder when it comes to loose pigments. I know it's weird because I do it with with eyeshadow palettes, but y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to just pour a little bit into my little thing thing here. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics um, Festival Brush Set number 7. Let's go ahead and see how this is. Okay, so it does have a slight sheen to it, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to blend that out, but it's a very pretty color. It's a nice, like, rust orange. All right, that actually looks really nice. It blended out to a nice orangey rusty color. It may look pink on camera, but it is more on the rust side. But the next shade I'm going to use is from Psyche Minerals, and it is in the shade Cruel. I know this was in a Pandora's box, but I can't remember what month it was in, and I tried looking back, and I didn't want to waste too much time doing that. So, yeah, I'm going to use this shade next. And as always, I'm going to do my right eye on camera, my left eye off camera. I do want to swatch it for you guys real quick. That's what it looks like. Please pardon the fallout. It is a loose pigment. And I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Festival brush set in number nine. All right, this is what we got going on so far that did deepen that up a little bit. I really do like it. Please pardon all of this. I will clean it up. Hence why I didn't do my base. <laughs> all right, the next shade I want to use is from Hypnose Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Jade. Now, the reason why I picked this one is because it has a red shift to it that is just so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. And it also has a green, it, it, it's like, it's hard to explain, but it is a beautiful shade. And I just wanted to deepen this up a little bit more. I did forget to mention to you guys the way that I like to apply my loose pigments is I like to press then swipe. So therefore I'm not getting a lot of fallout on my face. And I am going to go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. And we're just going to deepen this up. Okay, that's not going the way that I want it to. It just looks like it's adding more red to it. So, yeah. I'm going to quickly put a little bit on the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so like I said, that didn't deepen it up enough that I want, or the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to go into another Psyche Mineral pigment. Um, and this is in the shade Hell. I do believe this may have been either November or December of 2019. Um, Pandora's box. So let's go ahead and try this one out. And I'm just going to use my Sigma brush. All right, let's see if this is a little bit darker than what that um, jade shade was. Oh, yeah, that's a lot darker. That is exactly what I wanted. And it actually has little reflex of red glitter in it. That's really pretty. Alrighty, this is what, that's cute. <laughs> this is what we have going on. I did clean up the edges and I did have a lot of fallout underneath my eyes. Hence why I didn't do my base makeup first. <laughs> um, I did go in with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer and kind of did a half cut crease thing going on. The next shade I want to go into is from Notoriously Morbid and it is the shade Shrine of My Heart. Now, this is a semi-loose pigment, and it is lip-safe as well, but I just want to use it on the inner part of my eye to give my eye a little shimmer shimmer. 
and I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I mean, look how pretty that is. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it with my finger and then I'm going to go back in with a wet brush to kind of like make the glitter pop even more. Ooh, that is super pretty. Alrighty, this is what we have going on. Everything's going to come together once I get my base down. We do the lower lash line, liner, lashes. It's all going to come together, I promise. So I'm going to go off camera and do my base and I will be right back. All right, I have my base down and I've already set my face with powder, but I want to add a little bit of luminosity to my face. And you guys know that I really like using the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Luminous Setting Powder or the Too Faced Do You setting powder, but I'm actually going to use a loose pigment this time. And it is from BFTE Cosmetics and it is the multi-purpose mineral in Life's a Beach. So let's go ahead and see how this works as a, a little lumina, a luminous setting powder. <laughs> I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. This is the Luxie 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. It is very, it's not very dense at all. So it's not going to, whoa, that picks up a lot of product. So it's not going to just like keep it in one place. Oh yeah, that is exactly what I wanted. That is really nice. I want to put it mostly on my cheeks, but then just kind of like spread it around my face, but mainly in my cheek area first when I put it down. Oh, that is super pretty. That is super cool. See, I told y'all it was all gonna come together once I got my lashes on, got my liner down. Yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with it. Hey guys, editing Melissa here. I forgot to tell you guys what I did with my lower lash line. I first took the Psyche Mineral shade Hell and placed that down. Then I took their shade Cruel and buffed it out a little bit um, to soften it up. Um, yeah, I just now noticed that I forgot to mention that. So yeah, back to the video. I'm still not done yet. Um, I didn't have a loose pigment to use as my bronzer. So I went ahead and did my bronzer already. But I do have a pigment from Notoriously Morbid. And it is in the shade Hashtag Red Instead. And this was in Pandora's box. I want to say... I think it was either... I think it was April of 2019. Um, it was the autism um, edition of Pandora's box, the autism awareness edition of Pandora's box. So I am going to use that for my blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it and it is a little bit dark, but I think if I blend it out well enough, it'll work. Oh yeah, that is very pretty. I am going to use the La Rouge LR360 Tapered Face Brush. Yes, I did just blow on that. Because this is a more fluffier brush, so it's not going to like go poof on my face. It is going to blend it out some. Oh yeah, that is like super pretty. It does have a little bit of a shine to it because of course it is a loose pigment. But it, that looks really pretty as a blush. That is super pretty as a blush. I really do like that. That is really pretty. All right, now it's time for highlighter. And I'm also gonna use this shade on my inner corner and my brow bone as well. It is from Rebel Rouge Labs and it is their Stardust um, Loose Pigment in the shade Mercury. And I do have to be careful because this one does have a little bit of a tint to it as you guys can see. I do want to go in with a more fluffier brush with this for my highlighter. So I'm going to use the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush because it is more fluffy than my other ones. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this on my inner corner and my brow bone. Oh, 
oh yes and this is the final look i am like i said before i am really impressed on how this turned out the eyes they were gonna they were worrying me for a second but once i put my liner down my lashes it just all came together um i really enjoyed doing this and to show you guys that you don't just have to use loose pigments just for your eyes you can also use them on your face for your blush your highlighter and even an illuminating setting powder so yeah i am like really really loving this um i hope you guys really enjoyed this let me know down below if you want me to do another one of these using different shades and different brands i will be more than happy to do so and that is all that i have for you guys today don't forget all my social media handles will be down in the description box come on over we have fun on those pages as well i do not however have a twitter account so if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile report it because it's fake also all the rest of the products that i used for my look today will be down in the description box as well i love y'all so much and i will see y'all next time bye this is why i don't put my base down with loose pigments. <laughs> really do like this lip color. Super pretty. That blush looks amazing. What? <laughs> Seriously overdrew this side of my lips so it would be even looking. <laughs> <laughs>